Welcome back, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and today we're going to learn how to see some pretty crucial information for our company, our employee retention rate. It's actually important we take a look and see how many people have left the company and analyze why. Understanding why people left can also help us make improvements and increase employee retention. But enough talk, let's jump into our database. So here I am on my main employees dashboard. I want to see how many employees we have, so I'm actually going to take a look at the contracts report by selecting reporting up at the top. And then contracts. So since every employee needs a contract to be paid and all employees have one, this report can be thought of as an employee count graph. This presents me with a graph over here of our contracts for the last year as represented by a default filter up at the top that says last 365 days. However, today I want to take a look at who has left the company so that I can see which departments are doing the best in terms of employee retention and which ones are not doing so well. I also want to know why employees are leaving. If they are retiring, that's great news for them. But I also want to know who is being fired, who is leaving, and I want to learn why once again. So to view who left the company, I'm going to select the measures button over here on the left side, and I'm going to select departure employee. So that once that I do that, I'm presented with a monthly view of the number of employees who have left the company. It's helpful to regularly take a look at this information to see which departments have the lowest retention rate so that you can assess any improvements or changes that are going to help you out. Now, I actually find a more helpful way to look at this data is to actually switch to the pivot table using the far right button up at the top. Just because this gives me a different sort of look at stuff with numbers instead of a graph. This has a lot of excess information I don't need to see though. So let's select measures again. And we're going to deselect everything except the one at the top that says departure. Great. So once that I do that, now I could just see 10 employees happen to have left the company this past year. So I can also see how many people left in each department. For example, I could see right now that one employee has left the carpentry department. And if I wanted to, I can also see which person left. In this case, it was Sam Smith. That's pretty useful. I can also collapse all the departments. So I'm only presented with the number of employees who left each department. To do that, we just select a little minus sign right next to some of these. And it starts collapsing them there. Or if you want to do this faster, just select total. And then you want to select it again, and this time department. And look at that, we're back over here and we've collapsed them all. This is a great way to see any potential patterns. For instance, I noticed a certain department was losing too many employees. And using this data, I could now decide who was it? How do I identify them? I could work with the department head to resolve any issues. I can actually see right now that if we're looking at all of these numbers, custom furniture lost the most employees, but it was only two. So I'm not really that concerned. But what if I want to see how many people left in the last quarter compared to the third quarter? To do that, we actually go over here to our search bar, expand it out right there. And now we're going to select dates and we're going to do Q4 and then we're going to be comparing it to the previous quarter. Okay, now we got a new data set. So once a specific time period is selected, this comparison section over here has appeared and it shows us here is Q3 and here is Q4. I can now see how many employees left each department inside of our fourth quarter. And then I can compare it to the third quarter over here. Now I can see that in Q3, we actually lost two people. And then in Q4, we lost four people. This leads to a 100% increase from the previous quarter to the current quarter. And that's why it's a green 100. That's kind of a big jump. And in that case, I'm going to meet with the management team so we can look into why there was such an increase. Now, I actually want to show you one last thing. If I want to, I can once again click into the search bar. This time we're going to add a custom group. And we're going to select departure reason. Okay, now I'm presented with a number of employees who were fired or retired in our case. So that's pretty interesting. But if I want, I can remove the comparison filter as well. And actually, this one shows us who resigned. Small little dupesy there. So if we wanted to see employees who left group by reason for the whole year, we actually just get rid of the Q4 right there. Now we could see one retired. Perfect. This is great because now I can look into these employee records and see why they left, why they were fired, and, well, we don't need to know why they retired, but we can determine if there's room for improvement within our company. As for retired employees, I hope they're enjoying themselves. And that's it for this tutorial. We learn how to view our employees who left and see our company's employee retention rate, as well as how to present all of this data so that we can compare different time periods to see which departments are having retention issues and how to view our overall numbers. 
Until next time, happy O-doing. It is the season for that.